So hi, yeah, my name's DJ House. Um, I'm a DJ producer from uh, London, run a few labels and known to be unknown amongst other things. We're here today at Vinyl Pimp, that big up Hon, and um, I'm gonna kind of show how I use the modular now, a little uh, system I put together for kind of sampling using the squid. And we're gonna go through the wall of vinyl and pick out some samples and so yeah, have a bit of fun. I got into music production through buying records, uh, been collecting records for years and uh, took the next step um, through mainly using software uh, and then eventually got into hardware through modular synths really when I kind of saw the possibilities and the kind of uh, a lot of sounds that I'd always heard in music that I never really understood where they came from kind of appeared to me through a magic uh, smoke of modular synths. <laughs> My creative process with uh, modular synths, when I first started, I really liked the fact that you'd have a, a VCO and a VCA and envelope generator, and they'd all be separate, and you could patch them all together in different ways and understand how sounds created and how it's kind of manipulated within a modular synth, which is, which is really interesting. And then over time, as I got more confident with it, I kind of got more into the more kind of deep divey sort of modules, which kind of enabled me to reduce the amount of modular I actually have, and it's kind of a bit more complex Packed. So this is the kind of system I'm kind of using at the moment. Uh, I'm using the Pamela's new workout as a kind of clock um, and then also for CV sources and also as a sequencer. Uh, then I've got the Squid Salampal, um, which obviously I'm using as a sampler. I really like um, it sounds a bit cheesy, but I really like the ALM videos they're posting on YouTube because it really uh, gives me ideas on how I can use it as a VCO, like doing the wavetable synth stuff, uh, oscillator stuff, which is really cool. And um, so yeah, I love that. And the fact it's got a new filter on the firmware update is great because it saves some space because I don't need to filter on it too. And then we've got this, this is really cool. This is a phono preamp made by Ginkgo Synth and this enables me to record directly from a turntable into the squid, which is obviously brilliant because you can just find stuff and sample it straight away and then you're, you're up and running. And then, yeah, I've just got uh, a, a kind of drum oscillator, uh, ornament and crimes, a VCA, and um, the headphone uh, out, which is great as well because it means I can just have it, you know, just jam away wherever, wherever I want. <laughs> yeah. So I've dug out this record here and we found uh, this sample in it, which we're going to record straight from the deck into the squid sample uh, via the ginkgo synth preamp thing. So I'll give you a taste of the sample first quickly. Come on, y'all. So that's the sample. So yeah, let's record it in. I think the creative process behind this kind of setup is that the modules kind of almost come up with the ideas themselves. You're kind of patching, you're giving it something to work with, you're patching something up and then uh, by sending it some CV or whatever, you'll find it'll just randomly start doing something quite cool, which you can cut out or just zoom in on with the, with the PAM and then loop it, for example, which is quite cool. I think going from a kind of bigger setup to a smaller setup means that I kind of I'm not able to get more out of each module, but kind of use the modules maybe in a different way than I might have done if it had been sitting next to something that had done the job. And again, what I like about the um, ALM YouTube channel is that it shows you ways to use the modules in ways that you wouldn't. Things like using the squid as an echo or a delay and um, the pit slope, there's loads of stuff you can do with that that I would never have thought with an envelope generator. I think it's uh, that is kind of like the spirit of modular as well, isn't it? Using stuff not exactly how it's meant to be used or coming up with happy accidents. 